meant for an adult audience. Loveline may contain sexually oriented content. Content. Listener discretion is advised. Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Loveline. Loveline. Coast to coast. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. That is Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. And tonight, I'm tickled pink to have back in the studio my dear, dear main man, dear, dear, dear main man friend, David Alan Greer. Please, please remain seated. You know, Adam, Dr. Drew, I come to you this evening. Thank you. Thank you. With a heavy heart, with a heavy heart, I, uh, I recently ended the most dysfunctional, unhealthy relationship of my life. And the only relationship. Oh, oh my God. Well, let, let's, oh. Try to, let's try to figure out what's up with our friend Dag, too, because oh. don't dig too deep. He's, his oh, mood is I unstable. I can't. Oh, Dr. Drew! <laughs> oh, Dag. <laughs> Dag. <laughs> I can't. Dag oh is a, David is a smart guy, yeah. a talented guy. Yeah. His, his parents are semi-normal. I mean, he didn't, yeah. he didn't suffer a lot of abuse growing up. Yet, uh, he seems to live in a world of chaos and I heartbreak. Do. I he, do. He loves that chaos. I, I very, love, very fragile. Though. I love the crazy girls. Hey, what are you going to do? do? <laughs> I got got. Fellas, I broke up with my hoochie. She was out of line, clearly. Out of pocket, I had this, to kick it to the curb. How long ago? Six weeks ago? Yes, it was about six weeks ago we broke up. The, this uh, person will remain nameless for fear of lawsuit. Um, after a couple of weeks, uh, the birdie started chirping, Dr. Brook Drew. Mm -hmm. People started telling me things, and I found out that apparently my cupcake, my honey bunny, had been banging half of Hollywood! Oh, oh, oh. oh my God! Wait a minute. That means Doctor Drew, I'm melting. I can't. I don't. Drew, that means one of us did her. Oh, you, oh, you bastard! No, you know what's happening. We, we're in. We're not. Maybe it's oh both of us. It was God. just our lower half. Oh, I have songs I've composed for this evening. Dag, dag, dag. Oh. Let me let me say this. Oh yes. To, to me. Adam doesn't have much patience for, because the, for the tender male. Well, <laughs> I'll tell you what I don't have. He's, he's on a, a new hit show, My I'm Life with Bonnie. also on medication! Tuesday nights, oh. 9 o'clock, ABC. Oh. Everyone knows you are. Everyone loves yes, you. Yes, yes, yes. You're now in the position where you can reel in the white women. <laughs> yes, now what? I'm coming back. I'm coming I mean, back. Why, why would a guy... I mean, listen, I, yes, I understand you had feelings yes. for this woman. Yes, I did, I but, did. But, I loved her stanking, smelly butt! Cheeks. But let me ask. Let me ask this in all, all seriousness. And yes. and Drew, you yes. you chime in here. Yes. Isn't half of a bad breakup what the other person meant to you, and the other half where you are in your life? Yes. And no, those are my history. Hold on. Hold on. Let me tell yes. you something. When you've been with someone for so long, how long you were you guys together? Four and a half years. Uh huh. And you hear things from so many sources yeah. that it has to be confirmed. This is you the, can this never is the flip confirm side this. of what you're you're saying. Right. right. You can never confirm this. Like, unless, Twinkie hole, baby. Like, Woo! Differently, Adam. <laughs> Adam. Yeah. Let's say let's say you are along, you're in a good station, mm -hmm. you find the thing that you think the numbers match, it's exactly you what you want. Right. Yeah. You're in the public eye, it goes bad, it wasn't what you thought it was, this idealized oh, thing you attach oh, yourself to is destroyed. And now you're also humiliated. Absolutely. And I feel I have to go public, Dr. Drew, because I'll tell you why. Already the story's being spun. Well, I like David's really? out of his mind. This never happened. Well, oh. Two of the guys involved admitted it. But what I like and is And one who? implicated the third. What, what my favorite we'll part about that. this evening so far, though, is David pulling me aside and saying, you know, I really can't talk about this. No. <laughs> we talk only in code. <laughs> we are. I haven't, I haven't said anything. But I have a list of names. We're going to be playing a little game I like to call Who Bagged Davies X? A little later. Now, I can't call these people out by name. Some of them I socialize with. We Dr. can call Drew. them on the phone. It's Loveline. Well, da David, well David, David, I don't want to go it. there because my lawyer's standing by. And uh, Maria, but we gonna get in some booty no, no, wait, tonight. But who? I don't. I don't know who you hang out with. Well, uh, trust me, I don't hang out with these dogs. I mean, <laughs> like, like. But you have socialized. David and I yeah, hang, but they, hang out during, a little bit. During. I, I don't know what is, see, during you, the shenanigans. You could have hung with me and Adam. We. we well, many these times. were these were people that she worked with. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. These were people Where'd that she, she worked work? with. She work? I can't tell you that. What is one of the? Industry? It's it's she works in the industry. That's all I can tell in you. In the industry. In the industry, so that it, it involves travel, it involves socializing, mm-hmm. and me as her man. You know, I'd socialize with some of these people, and uh, it only makes the cut deeper. Let, let me and let me uh, say this, or ask this, or hypothesize this. Yes. What? If the word is out that a woman is with a guy, and the guy is a high profile guy. Yeah. yeah. So, they were high profile. Too. They're captain. higher profile than me. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we'll get to that. We have the names here. <laughs> a <laughs> list all, of... all I know is there's got to be at least four people. Wayans on there. Oh, at least four. how did you know? <laughs> at least four. They left their drawers I know in those... my pamper. <laughs> I, know, I know those people. Oh, I know those Wayans oh, brothers. And possibly oh, a sister. And Carrie. I'm melting. I'm melting, Dr. Drew. What a world. What Jim Carrey get in there? Oh, Jim no. Carrey, yeah. No, Drew. Drew Carrey. No. Okay. No, no, no. Drew, Drew Carrey. But we got to work on, all, we all we work on David's, David's code. Uh, I, I am. Uh, David, no, David, absolutely. this is this is home for you. This is, this the is where you No, you're, this, this right girl here. was a keeper. No. She was no, a keeper. No, no, Her mom is an alcoholic. Her dad is a racist. She never yes. told him that yes. uh, Mr. Blackman was spanking her ass. Been over the kitchen table for four long years. Oh, doctor, I love her. She did me wrong. Uh, ow, 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 uh, ow, Yes, ow, ow, but you know ow. what? Thank God you're over it. People that rage, David, people yeah. that treat you wrong. Yeah. You, you got to have enough wholeness of self to be just <laughs> done with people that behave like Give that. Give me something like a miser or something. Just done. Just I'm toast. Done. All right, Troy, do you got any pills I'm out done. in the car? He's already on plenty of meds. Can you I'm tell? done. Oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm talking done. about for me. <laughs> I'm done with it. I want a quaalude or something. <laughs> we need maybe some value. Maybe, <laughs> when do we subject David to the cyber app? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you think? Wait a minute. My, my oh, headphones just went can, back. Can we do that, Anderson? Oh, my gosh. All right. Oh, All right. my gosh. Oh All right. right. Let's, let's, let's take some phone calls. Some phone calls. <laughs> that's what David needs to focus on his work. Let's save the baby. Oh I have some songs I'll be singing later Did uh, to right. commemorate this horrible time in my life. Dag, okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Dag, let me let me speak right, seriously right, to bro. you for a right, second. Bro. Hit me with it. You're, you're hanging around with the wrong people. I am. I like you're, the crazy you're girls. You hang around with the crazy girls yeah, okay. in the Hollywood the drama. Guys. The drama. It's the all drama. bad. The drama. The drama. It's all bad. Drama. You just it get back, you got to get the business going like fruit in the middle business. It is. Oh well, you know, you know I tried a fruit in the middle, but uh, apparently there was another piece of fruit there. You uh, you hang out. Hang out with guys like myself oh, and all mellows out. It's a little out. boring. She dogged me out. She will not cop to any of it. No. Really? No. It never happened. Big no. Volumes it never happened. Up. No. It never happened. I was weeping on the phone. Really? No. It never happened. Yeah. That nope. that nope. that that, that whole showing emotion thing oh, yeah. weakens your hand. Uh, I don't care. She was crying too. No. <laughs> Oh, well, wait, but, but who you broke up with her? I broke up with her, and later I found these things out. Why did people you break at work? Up with her? For other reasons that what, I thought what, that what? I, well, this isn't the person I should be with. Um, her life is not together enough. I know I don't want to spend my life with her. It's been this many years. It's what time to happening? end it. What was happening? What was happening? Um, uh, that's like an alcoholic uh, deciding not to drink. It doesn't just. Well, happen. I'll tell you what my therapist once said, uh. David. You are an alcoholic, and this person is a bottle of whiskey. Please yeah. stay away. Did but I? No. But Did yeah. I? No. I popped the cork but, and downed it. But what made you hit Bob? <laughs> <with their> t- <laughs> Hold on. What Does that mean he nailed her when she was on her period? I That's did that means, yeah. too. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, David, what, what, oh, he went down on her when she was oh, on her period. I, I Oh, that's love. Oh, my God. Hold on. (laughs) There's not love my lips. Oh, yeah. Uh, David, what made you... But just like alcoholic, there's always something that precipitates the need to change. Because I thought I could make her love me. Oh, what? That? I just got sick of it. What? Of what? The drama... What happened? Give us the, the example. Drunk. What was the final? I can't be too specific. What was the final but, blowout about? Um, uh, it Come just on. was a, an accumul- accumulation. No, no, no. What was the final blowout about? Well, there was a, a specific event yeah. I cannot discuss oh, okay. on the air, but there that, that was the last day. That, that okay. was the well, last you tell day. Us all I'll put it yeah. like this. I'll put it like this. She asked me to do something for her, and I said, you know what? You really, this is your problem. How are you going to fix it? Nothing. Tears, hysteria. I don't know what I'm going to do. Finally, Davey came to the res- rescue the last time. I was driving in my car. I put on a DJ Quick tune, and he was rapping. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, it just hit me. It was a moment of clarity, and it was like, this is done. I got to get out. That's what DJ will do for you. With a clear head, and then all the little birdies started chirping.
Let, uh, let, 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 let me say this, David. We all know, we all we're going to be going to Vegas together soon. Oh, really? oh, that's Homie, right. I'm moving to Vegas. Matter of fact, I'm moving to Olympic Gardens. Oh, that's what I'm <laughs> yeah. saying. Yes, I'll take I you to Olympic there. Gardens. You'll you may find my Lucy there. <laughs> don't forget about this. <laughs> no, thing. this is, there is a good place There's for him plenty to Plenty screwed up broads <gasps> over there. Oh. Oh. Remember my sweetums I found there last time, Adam? Yeah. <laughs> she was stabbed 17 times. Had a had a set of twins. Her boobies felt like elbows. I swear. We elbows. <laughs> oh like my God. She ripped my heart out with barbecue tongs, Dr. Drew. Drew, I, I swear to you, I was at a strip club in Vegas with a tag. And his uh, his dancer mentioned uh, in passing that she'd been stabbed uh, 17 uh, times by oh, her old man. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Hey, yeah, what are you going to do? Hug him, Good time. hug him, hug him, and love him. All right, let, let's take some calls. Yeah, let me get out of myself, please. Uh, I'm getting back. Let me just breathe. Dag, oh, where's the call at? Dag, we, yes. we we need to talk during the oh, break. Oh my I'm gonna, hey, I'm hey, gonna good good out. luck with that you, marriage, you know by the way. Adam. Yeah, and let me and let me ask you this, Dag. If you did meet a woman that was attractive, mm -hmm. insane, I've could you it. could you be attracted to her? Do they have to uh, be mm, nuts? Mm, yeah, they have to yeah. be. He's into that. Have to he needs a little therapy. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm in therapy. You know what would be good for him? More. Yeah, but like a few years. Well, Not a know. few days. You know what would be good for him? You remember how you treated me when I was having that panic attack on the uh, set of Love Line? Yeah, I yelled he, at you. He needs a little bit of that right I, now. I, I yeah, think I did. During the I break, I give really Dag some no, Honey, no, honey no. if you're listening, all is forgiven, please. <laughs> <laughs> Soak in a tub of vinegar. Come home. <laughs> my what? My hoochie bag. Fine, man. I'm going to be spending the night over your place tonight. He needs to be watched. Everything's going blurry. Okay. <laughs> Ken? Ken? Hey, what's happening? Ken, you're hey, 27. Hey, hey, Ken, how are you doing? Excellent, Dave. How are you? Uh, I'm not too good today, but I'm going to heal some babies. <laughs> heal some babies. <laughs> what's up, Dave? Ken? Hey, Dr. Drew Adam, what's happening? Glad to be here. Hey, a uh, couple questions for you. First, uh, I'm dating a girl. She's 24. I'm 27. She has a four year old uh, little girl. And, um,. Uh -oh. Divorced, you know, we've been going out for a couple of years. And um, I was wondering, uh, she had a normal childbirth with this gal, and uh, I was wondering if, if she was a little bit more loose than, than a normal girl would be. Uh -oh. Because of the delivery? Yeah, exactly. Not necessarily. How, she she yes. had her child two years ago? Four years ago. Oh, her child is four. And she was mm -hmm. a young, she's like a young and 20. And she's 24 now, too? Yeah. And she had her kid when she was 20? Yeah. They tend to spring back pretty much all the way. Oh, boy. If she's larger, that's just her. It's her anatomy. Okay. okay. What's it feel like down there? Uh, comparing her to other girls, uh, pr pretty, uh, a, a little more loose than the average girl. It's like you're uh, humping a tire swing. <laughs> <laughs> Banging a can of coffee. Maybe. Can't find a wall. Is that the problem, my friend? You know, <laughs> different positions seem to work out for us. I hear you. All right. All good. All right. It's all good there. That's put, uh, a, put a sock in that condom. That's what yeah, I'm and what about um, <clears throat> what about the uh, lubrication? Is she uh, lubric a little over lubricated? Uh, a little bit over lubricated. That's correct. Yeah, because yeah. you that's can, more than anything the issue probably. Yeah, There's nothing you lose, lose a little friction there. Yeah, and that'll come with age when you guys hit the change of life. Once oh, it dries up, everything will dry up. Yeah, good times. Uh, yeah, looking forward to that, good Rachel. Times. Yes. You're 20. Yes. What's up? Okay. Um, I think I may have OCD, and I don't have insurance, so I can't go to a doctor and find out pretty much why I think that is because I pick at my hair. Um, I tweeze my eyebrows. Um, I'm, like, obsessed with, like, not having hair on my body. I hate it more than anything. Um, and also with cleaning, I walk into a room, and um, I get upset if it's dirty. All right. Have you always been this way? Um, when I was a uh, little younger, I'd always be straightening up things, but it, it's it been really bad the past year. Since, are, you are you depressed? Uh, I took <coughs> soul off. But you, it take, you take Zoloft now? Huh? You take Zoloft now? Yeah. Um, Are you my mom takes it, so she gives me half of her pills. Mm. What? Ooh. 
Mm. You're taking her medication? Well, I'll take yeah, half. I, I used to it's take it when affair. I was younger. My doctor actually subscribed it to me like four years ago. But you I subscribed don't. it? Look, you need to, How many see, years a, you need to see a psychiatrist, <laughs> Rachel. You need, you need, you've got more than just depression going on here. And the depression. Mr. Mr. Ivy League over and, here and, taking his pain out on poor OCD and, Rachel. And there are serotonin reuptake inhibiting medicines that are better for obsessive compulsiveness. Yeah, than that's a, I don't know if I have it. I was just. Well, you have those qualities. You have those yeah, features. Dr. Yeah. Drew, let me, let me pipe in here. Honey, uh, are you I seeing anyone? I have like sick things going on too. I. I have to, like, take care of my pubic hair all the time. Like how? I I don't know. I have to, like, trim it all the time. I hate oh, hair really. anywhere down there. Really? Mm -hmm. but, um, Are you seeing anyone right now, dear? Um, yeah, I'm seeing a... Yeah, that's another problem. Really? There. What's, what's, what's going on there? Um, he's African-American, and I'm white. Oh, boy. Oh, my my dad, uh, when he found out, he told me he was... Um, this was a few months ago. He told me it was nothing to do with me. He thinks I'm a piece of... No suffering. Yes. The S word. Daddy said that. Your dad. Well, is it because dad, of who you're seeing? And I'm a daddy's girl. I don't. But finally, I guess he's over because one day he just called me. He, we've never talked about it again. But if I end up being with this guy, I don't know what's going to happen. Like what, marrying him. You'll or be. He'll be fine. Your dad will. Think so. Oh yes. Well, my advice to make this uh, relationship really last long is try banging half of Hollywood <laughs> like my ex-girlfriend did to me. That's <laughs> good, sound, that's good sound advice. I tried that's to similar. listen. I couldn't. I couldn't. Hmm. <gasps> oh, oh, my gosh. Dag, who do you hang out with? Really? Do you, do you, do you I hang out. No, I have good friends. You I have Actually, good friends? I do. My friends have helped me through this difficult time. Everybody on the show has helped we, me. We can yeah. see that they've been very successful. No, they have been wonderful. Yeah, no, been yes. great. Of course oh, I can see oh, that, David. Little I'm... Mr. So-and-so, oh. I wear my emotions on my sleeve. Really? Excuse no. me for being human! No way. I love that part. <sighs> Excuse me for being human. I'm supposed to just retain my feelings? I'm going to kill someone. Uh, boys, it's time for Davey to take another goofball. I, <laughs> give Make me one if you got one. <laughs> Seriously, you got stuff on you, right? Uh, I do, I do. Good I man. do. I do. Lynn? We'll talk. I don't feel good about Hello. wearing an L.A. Gun Club t-shirt. Sort of scary. Uh, keep I'm the, locking and loading tonight, baby. Keeps the riffraff away. There Lynn? Go. Yeah, Lynn, hi, guys. You're 28? Hey, what's up? 28, yeah. What's up? Well, I'm dating this guy. I've been dating him about three months. And um, I didn't see him for about a month, and then I saw him on Saturday. And the reason I didn't see him is because he kept, like, saying he was busy and everything. Wait a minute, you've and dated him for three months? Well, I dated him for two months, and then... And then a month off. Yeah, and then a month off. All right. He kept saying he was busy, but he kept saying, oh, I want to be with you, oh, I love you, and all this stuff. All right, that, right? that's keeping you out there so in case yeah. he needs you. Yeah. Huh? Hey, he doesn't want to break your heart, but he's losing interest. And maybe he's got well, something else going this. on. So yeah. I went over there on Saturday, and he tells me he's getting me an engagement ring. Uh -huh. It just wow. makes no sense. I mean. Well, well maybe, maybe, maybe. Now, he just says that, or you said, I thought we had something special. And he said, no, 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 baby, we do. I'm going to get you an engagement ring. No. Is it backpedaling, uh -uh. or did he just come up with it? No, he basically just came up with it. I, I, How I, do you I, know he just came up with it? No, well, I, no, I, but Lynn, we can't, what can we say? This is bizarre behavior. It's a bizarre situation. We have no idea what he's thinking. It's only three months. Yeah, it's only three months. He's talking about marriage. And <coughs> for a whole month, he wasn't interested. And you uh -huh. didn't know what the score was then. And now we still don't know what's going on. We can only figure this out by talking to him. Right. I suggest you be very careful with this guy. It does not sound like a great situation. Yeah. All right? Um, another thing is he hasn't had a girlfriend in like six years. And he's uh, he's partially deaf. He ha he's what? very hard of hear hearing. Uh, yeah. he's, Why? What? From what? From what? Yeah. I'm not sure. He wears hearing aids. And uh, yeah, you never, never broached that on? subject <laughs> with him, huh? Oh, he was born like that. Oh, okay. Well. You could just say that. Do, do you uh, know what he does for a living? Yeah, he's a salesman. Oh, boy. Okay, hearing aids, does he sell? <coughs> What's he sell? Uh, electronics. Oh, yeah. That's and does, close. Does he, makers? Does he Is have that, that a bad thing? <laughs> no, that's no. good. All right, <coughs> Lynn. Got to find uh, out more information. Too, too young, uh, I mean, too early to get engaged, but uh, if he's coming around, he's coming around. Yeah, more information. Nowadays, so you get they have those little micro hearing aids. Oh, they're great. They do. They, they adjust, you know, my patients have these things they adjust on their watch. They wear it on their wrist, and it adjusts the hearing you, aid. You, you, you counsel people like that, do you, Doctor? They don't even pull their... Uh, stuff out of the ears. You can't even see it. It's way in the canal. Let me adjust something. the volume and stuff. Wow. Is that a it. scientific term? They pull the stuff out of their ears? Yeah. <laughs> they, and there's no wire or anything. It's, a, it's electronic. Yeah. 
Wow. Air. That's so you see, back in the day, you'd have to put a horn in your ear. Yeah. Now it's now it's <laughs> Sorry, like Dick Tracy. Dave. But listen, for we're boring, uh, we're boring David. For, David. for Lynn, for Lynn, you you got to not be afraid to talk to this guy and find out what's going on with him. Uh, yeah. yeah, David. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. David Allen Greer in oh. the uh, studio tonight. Thank you. Thank my, you so much. My wife and kids is the name of his show. How dare you? It's my <laughs> life with you. Bonnie. That's not you. It's the other Negro you know. <laughs> I, I think Damien. that's you. Damien, I love your new <clears throat> show, My Wife with Bonnie. <laughs> it's nice. Where your brothers at? Where they be at? Y'all don't have to hang together. Why you change your last name to girl? I know Damon's on that list. He is. I know he's no, on that he's list. he's not. Damon would never. He would never. Sean, on the other hand. I got to call my hoochie. Uh, All right. We're going we're gonna to talk to David during the break. Oh. Uh, uh, also on Crank Yankers is the... Uh, I put it in the butt. Have, have put you done it in the butt? Danny the man who vomits. Oh, yeah, that's right. I hate you! Put it in the butt. I put it in the butt. Where did you ever get that bombing idea? Put it in the butt. Yeah, I have no idea. I put it in her butt. Ah! Cracks me up every time. We're going to Vegas. We're going to Vegas. Next week? I don't know. Soon. 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 We're trying to work out the dates. Soon. We're going to work it out with you. To do some crank yanking. <clears throat> we'll be fine. <laughs> we'll be fine. Uh, Dr. Drew, can I have a short session uh, right now? Yeah, give him like a three-minute session. We, we started. We, we're in the middle. Yeah. What are you tell, him, about? tell him what you told me. What he, this is what he said. Wash your hands of it. Just walk away. Yeah, I said you'd be like a, like a blackjack yeah. table. Yeah, yeah. right. Pow. It's kind of hard to do, though, Dr. Drew, when you're emotionally involved. I understand. Okay. But, but what, okay, when what, you love what, someone with no, 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 all no, no, of no. your heart. Listen to your doctor. By the way, blackjack is what will be going on tonight when David gets home. But take ourselves uh, a little break. David Allen Greer in studio tonight. David, let her go. <laughs> Stop loving her. It's the devil, David. It's not her. Well, it's it's her what you wish she were. The person you wish she mud. was whom she isn't. Oh. Come Let back, go, my hoochie. She was never that hoochie. Get that sack out of your mouth. Come home. Papa misses you. If this is what it's like being funny, <laughs> count me out. Count me out. I this am is, funny. This is your life. I know. That's my point. I, you're tortured. You walk around tortured. I am. I do. I right. do. Hit you're me. Gonna need to hit me. Get, hit me right now. You need to give yourself over to us. We'll take I a do. break. We'll be right back. Oh. Focus. It's Let's love focus line. in. Let's save some babies, Adam. Davy's back. I'm, uh, it's me. I'm, I'm back. A, I'm oh. Adam. That's uh, Dr. Oh. Drew. David Allen Greer in studio tonight. Oh, it's dark again. Life with Bonnie <laughs> airs Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock, <laughs> ABC. Uh, I have not seen the uh, first episode. <laughs> Thank you. But I hear... It's a very strong show. It is very good. We got great reviews. Bonnie Hunt is wonderful. She's fabulous. Uh, we got wonderful ratings. So um, I may be stuck on this one all the way to the bank. It's good. Syndication. And uh, oftentimes the uh, good reviews don't equal good ratings. But no, the, the, if totally. the ratings are good and you have a good show, you're uh, in for a long, yeah, long yeah, haul because yeah. they found you. No yes. one. Yes, that's right. And have to do a letter writing campaign to keep you going. Yeah, that's nice. Well, and you don't have to carry the show. You got a nice part. But, I just uh, walk in and walk out. Walk <coughs> to my dressing room and start to cry. cry yeah. But I want to take time out here and say congratulations to you, Adam, on your approaching nuptials. Thank I, you. Uh, I bought you a gift. Uh, Did you? Yes, please. Let's get a little higher class gift to the list before. I was like, the toothpicks or the dental floss? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Well, now they make the picks with the floss <clears throat> incorporated into the pack of yes, them, so I'm, yeah. I'm guessing that's what you got me. Yes. <clears throat> let's save some babies. All right, let's do it. And David, really, you need you, really? you need to really we need let to get yourself him a date go. For the, and, for your party. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was your bachelor party? I missed. I wasn't able. It was four days. Or four no. long days. Yeah, Tahoe. Oh, boy. We should have had him come with us to do Well, that. well we he never calls that. anymore, Adam. You know, he's starting his I new life. I call Dag. We Please. call each other. We call, we call other. Hey, pick up the phone, you jerk. <laughs> it's Adam Crocodile. <laughs> I'm not calling you again. Shut up. <laughs> well, I have to call him this? twice in a row sometimes. I am playing me now. hard I'm gonna, to I'm get. I'm going to switch for now. Adam. Change numbers and things. Please, please, because I'm getting some paper? free. That, that's these are my yeah. notes, my hoochie notes. You're not going to be able to hang out with him. I've tried. Oh, I can stop see it. He's, hey, he's no quick. cheating. Get out of here. Give me back my paper. Whoa, well, there's lots of notes there. <laughs> there is. <laughs> I have a kidding. lot on my mind. Yeah, not oh, kidding. I'm getting I, it I'm off. All right. for, for those of you who are just tuning in, 
David has uh, ended a long-term relationship oh. very recently. Oh. He's Crack in a lot ribs. of pain. Crack my ribs, Dr. Drew. There's nothing there. He's open. <laughs> she took he my heart. Adam, I can't even watch porn anymore. I swear to you, every time I watch porn, I see my little baby doll. Um, my sweetie sweetums getting banged by half a Hollywood. I'm a, oh. It's okay. I'm watching enough porn for the both of us. She took my porn, Charlie. She took my porn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm melting. Oh, what a world, Dr. Drew. What a world, what a world, what a world. Okay. Dag, Dag, we need to hang out a little bit. I'll mellow you right out. Go. go. go you give me some numbers. <laughs> All right, I can't give you my personal number. I'm going to give you email. Charlotte? Email. Charlotte, yes. Charlotte you're 18. Yes. What's up? Okay. Um... Email. When I started having sex, I would, like, orgasm fine. Like, at first it wasn't, like, there, but, like, after a while it would come just, like, naturally. During intercourse. Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And then, recently, I, um, hooked up with this one guy, and it was awful. Like, it was, like, the, one of the worst experiences of my life. Like, worse than the first time I lost it. Why would it happen? was, like... What happened? I don't know. Like... It wasn't even like he was that big. It was just, it wasn't enjoyable at all. Was it just the, you know, like the person or the way he approached things? What was the problem? What? What was the problem? He sounds like you were like traumatized by it. I mean, what happened? I'm not traumatized, but it, it just wasn't like a pleasant like feeling. All right. No, Physically or emotionally? Hold on a second. What, what is she saying? She said it wasn't she, a pleasant She always I, well, enjoys heard, sex, and well, then she's with a guy now. No, she said, then I was with this one guy, and it was horrible. I didn't like it. I thought, oh, wow, awful. So she said, <laughs> Charlotte, yes. you're 18 years old. You, you sound like a six-year-old talking about food. <laughs> the yellow stuff is yucky. It's bad. <laughs> I'm so going to go to Hawaii. Yay. So you're with a guy one time, and you didn't like it. Right. Did you sleep All with right. him again? And that no, I did not. All right, and that was how long ago? That was like three months ago. And have you been with someone else since? Yes. All right, and how, how, how's that? that? It's like, I mean, I don't enjoy it. You don't enjoy. Don't, you don't enjoy it anymore. No, not at all. Not intercourse. Not because of be, because of that experience with that one guy. I don't know if that's because that's it though. Because like What's whenever happening in your life. Like, Whenever, like, he goes down on me or anything, like, it's just no sensation, like, it's Well, nothing. what's going on in your life, uh, personally? Everything's going great in my life. I'm in my freshman year of school, like... Do you like this guy? Great. Do you like this yeah, guy? Yeah, I do. You really a lot, you think? Um, yeah. I don't love him, but... What was so spoiling? Why were things spoiled by that one guy? One guy? No, that's my question. And, and why don't you love the guy you're with? Because it's a pretty big word. Can't get committed too soon. So you're just not that into him that way. Oh, I am. I am. I just don't know if I love him yet. Right. All right. All right. That All right. sounds normal to me. Yeah, but she. But this one guy. What was it about this guy? Try to articulate. First that. of all, I want to apologize. Okay, I'll try to be an articulate person. Right. All right, but I want you to try to articulate what it was about the experience with the one guy that spoiled sexuality like, for you from then on? At first, on. it was fine, and then it started to burn, and, mm. like... Are you, on are you on any medication, birth control pills or anything? I'm not, not on birth control. I'm on menocycline now for my acne. Yeah. Did you eat some um, hot sauce that night? And so, the, are you worried that you're going to get pain again? I like sex? when you're miserable. I do get pain you, now. So now you have pain? Yes. Yeah. So ever since that one guy has been uncomfortable? Yes. Yeah. All right, you left that part out. Now, now it begins to make sense why sex would be less pleasurable. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, it's all making sense. Well, here's the, the obvious thing. <laughs> Charlotte, it's the devil. It, it's I possible. Want you to go out there's and many, many possible. Charlotte, you having your normal periods? Yes, I am having. My and that's happening normally at normal times and everything. Yes. How long have you been on the medicine? Um, for about six months. And you're using any condoms now, or what are you using for birth control? Charlotte. Condoms. Condoms. Would you be allergic to the, the, the latex? Is it using a different kind? Or no. It... I'm not allergic to it. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of that. All right, the fact is, Charlotte, this is... No, it's just stinging. It's stupid. You need to go but, talk see true. a talk gynecologist. True. Wait a minute. Is it, go to a gynecologist. The stupid. hormone levels no, may no, changing the body. Estrogen levels may be different. Dr. The menocycline may be affecting things. Hold on, true. Don't talk over David. He's not going to stop. I'm just saying that. 
Go ahead. Everything was down there. My stink hole. It was <laughs> nice. And then that guy put his stink his, his, his pecker in there. It was stupid. Eh? It's just stupid. And I, it wasn't always stupid, but it's stupid now. And I don't understand. I don't and know. Anderson, <laughs> shut the eggs, Mike, for one second. Thank you. So Drew and I can speak. Drew. Wait, that was a pretty good sound effect. Yeah, do that again. <laughs> All right, now, thank you. Wow. Keep his mic off oh, for a second. Uh, True, over here. Uh, Let's use the mic so I can intercom. Yeah, of course. Uh, Charlotte seemed like kind of a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. Oh, yeah. And she seemed like the hot, she had the hot chick syndrome. Yes, yes. How and did you get that out of what she, she said? Be, because she was Quiet like... To her. Quiet. She, she was like, I, well, I had look, a... Look, he's having a tantrum. I, <laughs> Too bad, too bad this is radio. <laughs> People now David's got to pout for the rest of the show. Go ahead and talk to your little doctor friend. <clears throat> yeah. So she, she was like, la, 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 <laughs> first off, you're not going to give him your phone number, are you? Yeah, I did. So he'll call. Dr. Drew, I'm going to call you right now. I'll get it back during the break. I'll get it back during the break. All right. She, uh, she, had, she had hot chick syndrome, which is, I, I had an orgasms before, yeah. and now I'm not. And, like, yeah. what are you going to do about it? Right. And whenever you try to make a suggestion, they're a little bit angry. No, that's not it. Yeah. No. Yeah. She, had, she had elements of that yeah. in her voice. And I don't know if her daddy wasn't nice to her or something. And that part about, she's 18. She's been with a guy for three months. She, she really likes a guy, but do you love him? No. It's but not, it's three months. I, I know, but 18-year-old girls that are sort of intimate with guys and been with them for th three months is a pretty pretty long stretch it, for at 18. At least have a fantasy about something more there. <clears throat> yeah. Well, she, sounds like, she was rejecting it. Sounds like daddy thing. broke her heart and something. You want to? Yeah. Charlotte? Charlotte. Yeah, she hung up. It's still, I'm here. Oh, there oh, she is. Hello, is. Wait, wait. hello. I'm here. Charlotte? Charlotte? Yes. You okay with your dad? I love my dad. We have a great relationship. Did, you, right. did you always have one? Yes, we did. Your whole life? My whole entire life. What about, what about your mom? No, not at all. All right, what's oh. going on there? We knew it was something. What's up with mama? We just don't get along. How come? All right, now. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, they don't get along. I, she's, I, she's, Charlotte's one of the hot chicks make you, 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 you become like the Gestapo and they become like a captured uh, French resistance, war, you know, people. It's like you got to sweat them for everything. You, you know what I mean? Fat chicks give up too much information, and hot chicks, you got to ring for information. Why don't you like that, baby? I don't know. Well, what is it you don't like? Stupid. You, they're, they're like kids. You know? This is hell. It's bad. And then you go, but, but what's bad about it, sweetie? It's like you're talking it's to a six-year-old. Yeah, but why? What do you, do you think if you could? And they go, huh? You know, but that's how do you know she is. was a hot chick? Or maybe she was... I know she was a hot way, chick. Ooh, Ooh, Charlotte? Oh, sorry. Yes. Charlotte, you're a hot chick, right? Um, some may say so. Yeah, that's the, that's, 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 that's so. always the number answer. one hot some chick answer. answer. <laughs> some, some gentlemen call you call me hot. All right. All right. Anybody you talk to might say so. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they're Maybe, talking about. Maybe, I don't know. It's You're a hot stupid. chick, right? It's that's just good. stupid. The whole thing's <laughs> stupid. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye, Charlotte. Bye. Wait. What? Yeah. Your relationship with okay. your mom, though. Your, I, I was going to tell you why. You just cut me off. All right, let's right go. Go. All right, go. Okay. My mom is a Jehovah's Witness. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like, so... We really, I really never like adapted to the beliefs. Yeah. How about your dad? Is, you know? When your dad my is not. No. no, my mom was like full Catholic, went to Catholic school with the nuns, got beat by the ruler and everything. Right. And then like they came knocking on our door one day. And and nothing converted. wrong with that. Oh really? Came to the door. And How old were you when she converted? Oh, that's a good four. How I'm done with it. Four. How old were you when she converted? Ten? I was ten, yeah. All right. But it sounds like there's a lot of envy and <clears throat> hatred and, you know, just awful feelings just about people, probably. Yeah. Built in by mom. Charlotte didn't sound like a big people fan. Oh, no, right. Exactly. Zeno? Hello? Hey, you're 28. What's up? Uh, yes. Hello, uh, Dr. Drew, Adam, David. Hey, I have up, a bit man? of an ethical question for you all. All right. Okay. Uh, I uh, am primarily attracted sexually to boys. <laughs> How, what do you mean, boys? How old? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> nine, ten. <laughs> so you were sexually abused when you were like nine? No. <laughs> well, what happened to you when you were that age? Well, nothing really. Do, do, do you, well, what do you, do you, hold on. Do you masturbate to these boys? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to yes. step out. Yes, you do masturbate. Yes. To, to uh, orgasm. To orgasm? What? Yes. Uh -huh. David, he masturbates. <laughs> 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 Uh, 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 what happened? What happened to you when you were nine years old? 
what was it that not really happened? Uh, no, nothing happened. Now, when you fantasize, do you picture yourself performing fellatio on these nine-year-olds? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. <laughs> And sodomy as well? <laughs> Hold on, you didn't answer yet. Sodomy? No, not really. No, not, what? <laughs> oh, I take that back. Yeah. Not, not sodomy. Okay. All right. All right. Now, uh, and, 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 but hey, have you done this? No. No, you have not done this. And, and are you uh, are you straight or gay? I mean, do you have a relationship right now? No, I don't. And so do you consider yourself gay? I, d I don't uh, know how to consider myself because I haven't had sex with anyone. Oh, ever. ever. You're a virgin. That's right. Again, something happened to you when you were a young <clears throat> child like that age. What happened? Uh, well, uh, nothing that I can remember. What do you think might have happened? Um, I can't, uh, I don't know. Nothing. Do you remember I... anything before the age of 13? Mm, no. Not nothing. Really. Okay. Well, uh, hold, hold on a second, Zeno. Uh, Let me talk to uh, Drew and, and Dag here yes, for a second. Yes, we uh, want to do. <clears throat> We talk to people all night who have yeah. a reason for the way they are. And that's 99% of society. But mm. there is always, always that 1% who's just sort of, uh, they're an enigma. Mm -hmm. I mean, they like guys, they like nine-year-old boys because one out of every thousand guys or 20,000 or 50,000 like no, guys like, like nine-year-old boys. No, He's giving like you indications. No? He I think said that, he doesn't remember. I think a sexualized re relationship with he, a child he, he is He doesn't say he doesn't. He's not, I don't think he's saying I don't remember like I don't remember my childhood. <laughs> yeah, that's he's, what he's saying. That's what he's saying. I thought he was saying no, he can't think out. of anything. Do you remember anything about your childhood before the age of 13? It, sure, I do. Okay. And what was happening then? Uh, well, I... Did you grow up in foster care or anything like don't that? No, no, my family is okay. I was going to school. Um, got good grades. Nobody beat on me. Nobody touched me. So, Zeno, when, when Drew asks you if you were traumatized at age nine and you say nothing you can you remember, remember. Do, you, do you mean that you can't remember that age, or do you mean that nothing that you can think of? Nothing that I can think of. Thank you, All right. jackasses. Yeah, no, you're right. Both you two ganging up on my ass. All right, so you have, would you, and you're being honest, and, and you're calling the show and everything, would you have any idea where this comes from? No. Okay, and you don't plan to act on this, right? No, not right now. But now what about... Uh -oh. No, never. Okay, never. never. But what, what about your sexuality in general? What about being with a man who was... Uh, over 18. No, I'm not, I'm not interested in guys. Uh, but once in a while, I will see a woman that has boyish features that I will, I will have some attraction to. Right, that's well, really my question. Well, why don't you keep the focus there? Zeno, it's well, the devil. That's, that's uh -oh. my question is that... with your feelings. Yes. Okay, my question is, uh, if, I, if I start dating a woman like that and I have dated a couple... Uh, I always feel awkward because, on the one hand, if I tell them that I have this attraction, I'm only going to go out with weird chicks. Yeah. Well, have you ever done that? Have I you ever feel like a jackass? All right. Here's the deal. They're they're they've been blessed. You're attracted to the people who look like them. You know what I mean? But hold on. Have you ever told the women that you went out with these feelings you've had? No. Yeah. Don't don't, uh, don't no, do that. I don't think you have to. You, you you're not going to act on it. Hey, it worked satisfied. for me. But he's, he's, whatever this piece of himself is, is gratified by being a woman who fills that visual need of his. But Dr. Drew, he's yeah. never slept with these women. I know, but he but he's in, he really does have an, a genuine attraction to them, and it's not about his sexual identity. Well, I don't know about genuine attraction. I don't, I don't, I don't he's a virgin that. at 28. Yeah. You think he's sort of selling Zeno, do you, do you work? Do you have a job? Yes. And, and are you successful? Do you take care of yourself? Yes. And so you function well in society? Yes, I don't have any problem. I'm not dysfunctional, no. Right. Now, you, you, and what's your nationality? I'm um, from uh, Latin America. Okay, why don't... And by the way, this is... Uh, it's all coming to focus now because it's a big trend over there. <laughs> what you need to do, Zeno, is uh, spend a little of that money that you have. Here's a deal, Zeno. Therapy. I like you. I, I do. I, I respect the guy who says, you know what, this is what I'm attracted to, but I know it's wrong, and I'm not going to act on it. Yeah, that's and, right. And uh, I do respect those people, and I wish more people were that way, because yeah. as a society, we always want to condemn people for what they're thinking or what they're mm -hmm. feeling. I want to condemn the people that act. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm interested in. You want to 
bop the hell out of uh, nine-year-old guys and uh, take pitchforks to them and throw them in a big pile in your backyard and then have sex with their corpses, that's fine with me as long as you actually don't do it. That's you good. can think Very that good. way all you want. Very good. That's my phone Thank number. You. <laughs> no, it's not. It's right here. Okay, let's focus uh, okay. in. Okay, so preaching. spend some of that money on therapy. Please, it will help. Look what it did for David. I am totally normal. He's completely self-actualized. Uh, self-actualized and at ease with himself. He's I am. He Can I take my shirt off? I just flexible, itch maximally right now. Flex, <laughs> maximal flexibility <laughs> and adaptability. Look at him. Look at him. Very stressful no circumstance, man. and he's completely got it together. <laughs> right. Lost a girlfriend. Not a problem for him. How dare you? We're gonna take. <laughs> you brought up my Uchi. <laughs> We're gonna bike. There I go again. <laughs> she banged half a Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we'll, we'll be back. What a world, what a world. Hey, everybody, Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Hey, and I'm Davey G holding down the chocolate spot. We're yeah. going to be helping some babies this evening. If you have any problems, sexual or substance abuse, why don't you give a call? We're going to uh, give you some dollars, right, Adam? Should yeah, I read, should yeah. I read the, the diagnosis, diagnostic uh, criteria for borderline personality? Yeah. yeah. This, we yeah. this we, is to my hoochie. Let's, let's reset here. David okay. is uh, recently broken up with a long-term girlfriend. Oh. And uh, he's going. He's, oh. a, he's in that place that we've all been in. It doesn't work. Where uh, uh, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. There is light. and loneliness. There is light. Okay. There is light, but I'm just trying to get through this period. And with, with everything and I've heard about go. this person, and I don't know who it is, or no, I've never no, met her, no, we don't but know. I've been She's able to make astronaut. a provisional diagnosis of borderline Please. personality Could disorder. you read that? Could you read that? So, so here is the uh, definition. A pervasive pattern of instability of mood, interpersonal mm -hmm. relationship, mm -hmm. and self-image, beginning by early adulthood mm -hmm. and present in a variety of contexts, indicated by at least five of the following. Number one. A pattern of unstable and intense interpersonal relationships. Bingo. Characterized by alternating extremes of over-idealization and devaluation. Bingo. Two, impulsiveness in at least two areas that are potentially self-damaging. Yes. Spending, sex, yes. substance, yes. shopping, reckless yes. driving, binge eating, etc. Yes. yes, bingo. Number three, mood instability. Yes. Mark shifts from depression, irritability, anxiety, usually lasting a few hours. Yes. And rarely a few days. Yes. Mm -hmm. Number four, inappropriate intense anger or lack of control of anger. Yes. Number five, recurrent suicidal threats or no. gestures. No. Number six, marked and persistent identity disturbance manifested what? by uncertainty about at least two of the following, self-image, sexual I, orientation, yes. long-term goals, yes. career choice, types yes. of friends, yes. desired, preferred no. values. No. So, so five out of six. Here's the cruel, oh, wait, this is the key one, <clears throat> chronic feelings of emptiness or boredom. Well, she wouldn't tell me. Because she was always bored? I don't know. Yeah. Fran she said nothing was wrong. It's and all in my head. finally, frantic efforts to avoid real or imagined abandonment. Uh, yes. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we got to keep her, Dr. Drew. Now, how do I get her back in my life? That's what I want to do. Now, now, what does a person like this need to do, Drew? What's, what's the road to salvation for someone like this? Uh, if it's really about saving yourself from people. Thank with you. This disorder. Thank you. If you're one of these people, you no, should no, do no. what? If you're with yeah. one of these people. You should... Uh, I know. I know Dag needs to get away from these people. I you do. Should. I'm trying to. It's hard. Well, it's interesting. Right now, this time in history, a lot of people have borderline traits that are not don't actually have borderline disorder. And so it's actually borderline disorder. It probably shouldn't have borderline disorder. It probably has borderline traits. But if, borderline you're, traits if, you're, is treatable. if you're this person... You, first of all, make sure you're not an addict. Because board, addicts can behave and be, appear like borderlines. Mm -hmm. And two, get your butt in some therapy for about eight to ten years. Mm. All right. Mm. All eight right. to ten years. Mm. Ryan? Now, pretty soon, Adam, we're mm -hmm. going to be playing a little game I like to call Who Bagged Davy's Ex? <laughs> right. I have a list of names here. Well, let's call right. them. Let's we call can't David. call them, but I will give you hints. Hold on. Okay, but now, wait, wait, how, how did you get that list of names? Well, it was told to me by a variety of sources, uh, co-workers, friends. Strangely, uh, independent sources came up with really? the same names. Absolutely. <clears throat> and by those admitted participants. Oh, they said the, the two, guys Two themselves. out of three. Now, and, and let me ask you this, Drew. <clears throat> if, if I was in the situation that uh, Dag was or is in, I would, have told I would you probably just walked away. Yeah. I did. I, I know, but I wouldn't go after the information. I wouldn't be hungry for the information. It's already it, been given to me. That, yeah, that's how, that's I just got it, it a few all, days it ago. It was volunteered it was presented to you. To no, I said I, it was one, one bit of information, and I asked questions. Which that's I, right. I, I, because I wanted to know. Yeah. All right, you pursued it. Absolutely. Uh, I'm just saying I would I not say pursue I say full it. disclosure, but also I think when that person is denying their behavior... No, I'm not. I could David, suffer in silence, but I'm saying get, no. If you get like a wound in your arm, it scares yes. up. Do you pick I pick it, it okay. till I get to the bone, Doctor Drew, because it may be China under there. All right. <laughs> right. Tell me, I'm not healthy. Right. Let's save some babies. Right, you're 18. How's it going? Hey, your, um, <laughs> your girlfriend. Uh, 
wants Cur to... Uh, yeah, currently I'm in a relationship, and this is my first, like, real relationship where I've had relations with this girl. I mean, I've had, you know, those real immature relationships, but this is my first, like, real girlfriend. And she's been with, a, um, I don't want to say a lot, but she, she's been with, she's pretty experienced in that field. So she's, she's had a lot of sex before me. Uh, this is how guys get going with borderlines. Here it is. All right. And right now, now she wants to do what? Yeah. yeah. Well, she's done some things with her past boyfriend. I don't uh, care about that. What is today, it? Junior? What well, she, she want to do with she, you? She wants to go into my anus. She yeah, wants with to, what? I think she wants to use her hand, but she might want more. You know, she... She's, she's very strange. Like, well, wait a minute. Has she told you what she wants to put inside you? No, because when she brought it up, I refused. I didn't even let her, you know, get to it. But I'm, I'm now. That I'm thinking. I don't know. Maybe it, I would. But I wanted to know: is is there any way I could find it pleasurable? All right, can I get in on this? Sure. All right, if your baby doll wants to strap a big one on and put it to you in that bad place, there's only one reason a woman wants to do that, because when you break up with her, she's going to tell everybody! Oh, no. Everybody! That, it's true. Do I'd heard. Do I it. believe it. What you heard about David, too. I, oh, no, 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 oh, no. Not yeah. you, too. No, no. Yeah. Three female friends of mine couldn't wait to tell me that they had done that to the scumbag that just dumped them. So oh, really? do not do it. <laughs> do not. A, it's interesting. All right, don't do it, Ryan. If it uh, and, and Ryan probably gets the right uh, his spidey sense is tingling with this one and you yeah. need to trust it. Yeah. yeah. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Hey everybody. Yeah. Love line. I'm Adam, that's Dr. Drew. David yeah. Allen Greer is What's in our studio doing? tonight. Holding it down. Life with Bonnie is the name of his new show, 9 o'clock, Tuesday nights, ABC. Beautiful. It's lovely. Doing very well in the ratings yeah. and uh, yeah. very well reviewed. Yes. Very well reviewed. Critics agree. Uh, the critics all agree. They do. And, Dag, what a, what a position you're in because yeah. Yeah. you don't have to write the show or produce the I show don't. or build the sets. You don't have to carry the show. I don't. I come in, plot out, and get out. I do. Now, what is your what is a uh, shooting week like uh, for you? We work five days a week. We shoot on Monday and Tuesday. Usually I work one day or the other. Uh, it's a wonderful schedule. It's a wonderful schedule. It gives me a lot of time to myself to wallow in my pain. <laughs> Adam, I was doing so well. Not so bad. Can we play my game? Yeah. I have a list of names here. Let me, let me explain. Potential baggies. Let me explain that the tag. <laughs> tag was recently uh, jilted by a lover. Uh, I broke up. No, he broke up. He broke, he with he broke up with her, and after then she subsequently found out that she'd been mucking oh, around. She'd with been banging half of Hollywood. They've been together for four, yes. four years. Yes. It's, it's been uh, tumultuous at times. Yes. But uh, he's out of the names. relationship now. I'm here, I'm going to name names. Uh -huh. The first contestant, the oh. nominee we have for bagging Davies X. Mm -hmm. Let's do it like 10,000 Pyramid. Okay, okay this go. is... Mm -hmm. The first actor is the fattest, sleaziest, crank-snorting scumbag in Hollywood. Cedric the Entertainer. Uh, wrong. I'm going to... <laughs> John, John <laughs> Wayne. <John. laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Now, uh, the second... Minute. I Runner up is uh uh do I see a leprechaun in the room? Is it could it possibly be Scottish Irish? I don't know. Don't think lucky charm. They're all rumors the and innuendos. Uh the second actor's name is <coughs> excuse me. Uh then the Liam finally Neeson. finally Liam Neeson. I'm moving on, I can't. Uh finally we have Hold on, every we time you have, cough, it sounds like Liam Neeson. No, <laughs> no, I didn't say that. It's no confirm, okay. confirmation. Right. Finally, we have um, a man by the name of Oscar. Is his name Oscar, or does he just own one? I don't know. Could be. Ooh. Maybe just a nominee. Uh -huh. I don't know. All rumors and innuendos. And this name is... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's move on. I think he those said, are the three. I'm pretty sure the last one he said Ed Cranepool, who used to uh, play. He played on the Bingo! in the '60s. Ed so. Bingo! He put oh, on his could be Ed Norton. No, you mean from the Honeymooners? Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> she liked the old guys. I'll tell you that. Ed Norton, honey, come back. All <laughs> is forgiven. Given. Just douche, douche, please, before you come home, please. 
All right, let's okay, see. I know, I know nothing more than I did before uh, I started all that. One I can't. Guy my, was, lawyer, my lawyer is putting uh, me One guy was it. nominated for an Oscar. Maybe or maybe not. Maybe he won. I don't all know. Right, well, that, I'm just saying. that then in, includes the entire planet as far if you take the ones that are nominated and the ones that weren't nominated. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Don't you have some sort of like electronic way to sort that all out, slow <laughs> it down? Oh, I'm thinking. Let's Lawrence Olivier. Lawrence Olivier. <laughs> Play it backwards. Play the cough backwards. I think I, I, think, I think I may have hit the nail on the head with Cedric, though. Oh, how dare you? Does she My like the brothers? Oh, no, Is, she she goes Smith. either way. Oh, Will Smith. Oh, you hit it on the head. No, no. no all right, are, are the three guys, what color are they? Oh, the, they could be all colors. But oh, what are they? they? Yeah, colors. but what are they? They could be all colors. All right, they're all colors. There's multiple colors. They're, they're more, it's like, it's more it's white than black. United Colors of Benetton. More white than more black. White than black. Okay. That's all I'll tell you. More Today. white than black. This name is... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Ah! Oh, technology ruined the theater. <laughs> technology ruined. I'm, I'm treading <laughs> awfully Wait, close. Hold again. on. I my, need to hear it again. Uh-oh, my lawyer's just uh, entered the room. Hear it again. Here we go. And here we go. It's going a little slow. Nominee. I don't know all rumors <laughs> and innuendos. <laughs> and this name is Charles <laughs> Nelson Riley. That was, that was it. <laughs> Charles Nelson. <laughs> Charles Nelson Riley. <laughs> oh, man. This is like drag. Drag. <laughs> Red room. What the hell is this Red show become? Red room. Red room. Oh, you know, Christ. Dr. Drew, it's hard to move on when you find out that your sweetie sweetums is a bloody, lying, stinking, money grubbing whore. It's kind of hard. Okay, there's a lot to lot lot of but, lot of fond Adam, memories. Adam, you know she he says it now with a smile. Yeah. There's He's a lot of fond him. memories. Shows she way. took my heart. The show's I working want for my him. four years he, back. All I know is is uh, <laughs> next time they tape uh, Life with Bonnie, you and I are just going to walk out on the stage and start ranting for like I did I two did hours. fail I did fail to mention that she gave me oral like I was holding a gun to her head. <laughs> oh, the fond memories I had. Oh, she was a keeper, Dr. Drew. She was a keeper. I miss you, honey. All is forgiven. Come home, please. All right. Hey, uh, David. Let's heal some babies. Okay, here we go. I'm, Let's I'm having babies. dinner tomorrow night with Lloyd Braun. Uh-oh. And I'm going to give him a serious talk into about you. Let's take caller number three. Well, you need we, you you know, got to make sure they've got an EAP over there at ABC. EAP, right. EAP. Employee assistance program. They do, man, because I'm about and, to get buck wild. Yeah. They found me in the parking lot yesterday when moving my yeah, drawers on. You got to make just just talking, just like I don't know, just, you know, just make everybody. <laughs> I'm just going to call Adam. Adam, 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 Okay, right. we must go to the next taping of his show. Yeah. <laughs> just stand and walk in on our hands and just start going. Oh, uh, I would like to thank the makers of Rimeron and Z Xanax for helping me through this difficult period. Yeah. She's, we gotta, you got to talk to your doctor about mood stabilizers. <laughs> You're just elevators. You're 21? Yeah. Oh, yes. What's up, Johnny? How you doing, baby? Come on, I'm just calling to say that David Allen Greer rocks. Thanks, man. And uh, the funniest thing on the show. <laughs> Thanks a lot, right, man. Uh, Thanks. Dr. Drew. I'm going to be better, man. I'm going to get it together. <laughs> oh, one day at a time. I Thanks, saw the yeah. taping of a life with, I saw, not the tape, and I saw a, an episode of Life with Bonnie yes. at a Disneyland not too, not too long ago. At Disneyland? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The, were the cast members there? Uh, I don't what? think so. I knew Drew Carey, the Drew Carey cast was there. Ah, uh, that was ABC's ABC. weekend yeah. that they had there. I was, um, I was on lockdown. I was in the psychiatric ward. <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, But, man, really. like, you rock. Thank but, you, like, man. the best, funniest guy, man. Thank That's you. true. Thanks. You're trying to make him feel better, Thanks, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. of course And it he does, is. Dr. Drew. It does when you get That's love good. from strangers. It just hits you in your heart. I know heart. you need more and more and more of that. <laughs> Jay? <laughs> Jay. How are you guys doing? You're 21. <laughs> What's up? Right. 21. Yeah. I, uh, I'll take quite I, I've been having anal sex with my last girl, with this, my current girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. uh -oh. And I've done it many times with my other girlfriends, but they never, like, said anything about it. You know, they just, like, did it with me. But this girl totally digs it, always wants to do it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, if she likes it so much, maybe I'll like this. So I found something. I was sitting at home one day, and I... 
and I tried it on myself, and I, I can't imagine why this girl likes it, but I feel like a creep. You put something in yourself yeah. to see why she's so into it. Mm -hmm. All right, and what's the question? I don't know. Is that like, have you ever heard anybody doing something like that? So you're worried about yourself yeah. for having experimented yeah, It sounds with bogus it. to no, me. I buy it. Well, I only oh, buy it because of his affect, because I he's so goddamn it's boring. boring. It's got to be real. But what'd you put in you? Well, Mason jar. You know those uh, those things that you inject, like things in your mouth with like Jello in your mouth. What? Is it covered one of those? What? It covered one what? of the uh, things uh, you Jell inject in Jello in your mouth with. Well, it's like a shot, and you pull it out and you put Jello into it. My brother broke his jaw. So he's got to inject a liquid into his mouth. This is very. Oh, specific. his jaw's wired shut. Right. Got it. Okay. It's a syringe, basically. This is like a cover, but I, I don't know. Like everywhere I go, I always like have this on my mind. I'm yeah. Like, did you I'm, wash I'm, it off, or well, did you yeah. just put it back in your brother's drawer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, mom. This shot smells like coffee. <laughs> and somebody stuck my syringe in your butt. Corn, I can't. Ow. Corn jello, mom? So what are you thinking? <laughs> my food smells like ass. <laughs> Jay, was it the thing that your brother used? Well, yeah. No, it was not that thing. That it was the I, cover for it. It was the cover. The I, cover for it. Did, did he like, wonder it's what the like cover a, like a cigar tube? <laughs> Mom, well, somebody no, put peanut butter on my syringe cover. A little cover. thicker than a cigar tube. <laughs> little thicker. A little thicker. Really? And so I, a little, a little is it in your more. butt now? Because you said your, your speech right. is labored. But listen, uh, Jay, yeah. you're worried about yourself for having done this to see why your girlfriend is so into it. Well, yeah. Let me ask you a question. Does the fact that she's so into it kind of spoil it for you? Hell, no, not at all. You like it. I like it a lot. And, yeah. the, and she seemed to enjoy it so much, you thought you were missing out on something. I so thought maybe I'd try it. All right. Well, right. you found out it's not such a good thing. But read Cosmo. There Cosmo will tell you that all men are completely into this. <gasps> because Ooh. that's where their G spot is. Is it, is is it one knuckle or two? Total BS. Is so, it, well, anyway. it's just somebody's pouting over there. Jay, Don't you see there, fine. Adam? No. Mm. I'm pouting with did, the fact uh, that... Did Miss Mama Pinsky put her little pinky in Dr. Drew's little dump? <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, honey, what? honey, take your ring finger out of what my rectum. The F is happening to the show. <laughs> We're healing babies. Yes, Caller right. number five. What? Caller number seven. Lumber, number six. Caller number six. number six. Let's go. Grace, you're 19. Hi. Oh, hi. Hi, Grace. How are you? I have a few comments first All right. on my okay. question. Um, Adam, you're amazing. You're so funny. Uh -oh. Great. Um, even you. though I did see you on VH1 today, and you said something about George Michael's ass, which kind of disturbed me just a bit. Wow. But... It was on <laughs> VH1 okay. today? Yeah, it was on VH1 today. I was what, what? watching it, and there you were. What was it? I don't, it was like the top, like, sexiest, like, 100 top sexiest artists. And you said something about George Michael having a great ass. Uh-oh. Yeah, <laughs> where, uh... Jeez, that was on. I, you know, you know, it's weird. I don't know you guys. This never means anything to anybody, but I was, uh taking a uh, late nap, like 8.30, 8.45 tonight, and I taped that thing like uh, th three months ago, and I just had a bunch of random thoughts running through my head, and I thought, I wonder what, <laughs> I wonder whatever happened to that thing I did. I didn't remember the name of it. I didn't know what it was for. I didn't know anything, and I haven't heard anything about it, and uh, just now. Grace brought it up tonight, yes. <laughs> what time was it on? It was on, like, in the afternoon, I think, like, probably one or two. Good times, good times. <laughs> All right, so it's um, like the 100 most uh, sexiest rock people or something? Yeah, exactly. All right, All right good and times. And he was one of them. All right, so what else? Um, and, Drew, you are brilliant. And I've been listening to you guys for forever, and this is like the fourth time I've called the show. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, right. What about Dad? All right, enough with the kissing noise. Well, him, okay. Uh-oh. Well, if you stop with the kissing noise, right. oh, um, I think that if your girlfriend, your ex-girlfriend, excuse yes. me, yeah. decided to have like a little affair on the side of people in the industry she's pretty yeah. stupid Thank you. and you should get over her just because she's dumb thank you so much guys. um okay and here's i don't really have a question i just wanted to tell you that i called about like four months ago and i had a question for you guys and i told you that i told my best friend that i was in love with him mm. right. and um you told me that based on his reaction which was nothing except for i want to keep our friendship 
um, that I should get over him and move on. And I just want to say thank you so much because I did that, and I met someone that I'm totally happy with. Great. Thank you. Outstanding. Good. See, yeah. you Good see, there's, you. there's hope for you. <clears throat> Good for you. There's hope thank for you. you. That was a wonderful Dad, call. You hear that? Yeah. You listen, yeah, you yeah, listen to I us. I did. I, I You listen to us, and right. you'll be better. <clears throat> I know, but she said what she said in her voice. Just gallery. She's still that, and she's still that. Just. So, and just meet someone else because he's stupid. Jim. Jim, 34. Yeah. Jimmy. Hi, what's happening? What's, what's happening? Up, I'm doing all right. How are things there? Yeah. Oh, we're fine. Thank you. Am I on the air right now? Yes, yes you, you are, Jimbo. Holy mackerel. Well, here's my question. Hey, Adam. Yes. Okay. You got a job to do, right? What job? Your, your job of answering all these people who call in with all these drastic questions. Already, I don't, yeah, there's right, people I don't who are care. pregnant. There's people who are going to make the wrong decision about right. being 19 years old and they're pregnant, and so on and so on and so on. Anyways, you blow them off all the time. Thank and I think you. you should put a little more effort into your work, man. Thank you. Yeah. You're gay. Thank you. This man has a point, <laughs> Mister. Now you buck up. All right. Prick open those ears, Mr. Right, Flabber Lips. By the way, David Allen Greer, Sir. I think you're one of the funniest damn people I've ever heard in my life. Thank you so much. And Don't Dr. cut this Drew, off. I think you got a great damn job. I do have but a good job. Adam, you know, quit coasting through the work. There you go. He's working hard. Be present, <laughs> Mr. Know-it-all. All right. All right. All right there, Jimbo. All right, Jim, thanks. Thanks a lot, Jimmy. Right. Good, good times. times. Good, good times. times. That was my manager. Yeah. 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 Listen, let's bring David in our little new Adam... <laughs> Oh. Cyber Adam. Uh-oh. Yeah. Should we subject him to that or just de Why? describe it to him? Well, I, I decided Adam? that I could probably work the first hour of the show and then split and then through just various drops of me saying Five things like good times, he's a big boy, what are you going to do? I could get through the second hour with that just those drops. brilliant. It is. It's a great idea. Let's, let's hear a couple of drops. Have you got them? Much. Yeah. What are you going to do? All right, I'm going to be a caller. What are you going to do? All right. Um, hi. My no, no, let's, let's take a call. No, no, let, no, no. All right, go. Let's try it. Let's try this. Let's see if it works. Here we go. Ron, 20, 19. Ron? Yeah. yeah. What's up? Um, um, just wanted to make a comment uh, before I started my question. Good times. <laughs> um, Dr. Drew, I think you're amazing. You're the smartest guy I've ever heard. Right. That's why you make the big box. And uh, Adam is, I don't know. He's different. That's why I make the big bucks. <laughs> and um, David Ungar, you're you're great too. He's Thanks a big man. boy. Thanks uh, a lot. Hey, you shut up, Adam. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Go ahead. All right, what's the deal, Ron? What's up? What's um, I have a kind of a problem with my ex girlfriend. I don't really know. Um, she she's 22. She's got herpes. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Um. I don't know if I would have them or not. I don't know. Yeah, she got know. it from a, a guy going down on her. All right. Did and that she... Happen? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. He had um, a cold sore on his mouth. Right. So what's your question? What are you going to do? We've what? been going out or, you know, having sex without unprotected. And, uh, All right. And you've never had an outbreak? Uh, no. <laughs> He's a big boy. He is a big boy, and he uh, and he's uh, got to realize that he needs to start wearing a condom and take no. responsibility. Dump that girl like no, she's old she, news. Wait, wait, just because well, she has herpes? Her twenty is disease. No, he uh, should not just because she has Cut herpes. it off. Cut she it out. Wear a condom if she has an outbreak. She don't, should have her hands cut off. You should, don't don't uh, have sex with her if she's having an outbreak. And Find that's some you, new gas. If you've never had an outbreak, Ron, it's, and you've known, you've been looking for it, got alert to the possibility Ron, of having an outbreak, Ron, you, 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 don't, you probably don't have it. Ron, this is a devil. And, uh, Pass that disease on to all of your friends. We're still, like, doing things together, even That's though we're fine. broken up. Yeah. Good don't times. Don't, no, bro. Good times. Don't, like, not so good for her, but at least don't. you're getting the friend with benefits. Another. Thank you. I just, my head was splitting. Let's take caller number six. He seems to have a, a very interesting problem, this uh, young woman. Well, hold on. To number six. Well, just one second. I, okay. I cut poor Ron off. Ron, did you have another question? Yeah, I actually did. Um. Yeah. Tough ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Adam I love. Jackass. Let's go to caller number six. I love these a-holes who call the show. I'm like, Adam's, he's different. Anyway, I got 14 questions. I need <laughs> you all to field. There's this girl that's just a 
being stupid. I'm going to start with question number six. Then I'm going to work back to question number one. But in between, I may step down to like eight or nine. All right, Adam? Uh, it's like, listen, you start with an insult. What do you think? I'm going to sit here and listen to your but he wasn't, boring he wasn't ass the guy that was on? really insulting. The guy before was yeah. the jackass. Uh, listen, <laughs> dickweed. All right, Laurie, what's going Laurie, on? Laurie, how like are you? Guys. 27. How are you, Laurie? Hello, you... David Allen. I am just Hi, calling man. to send you the love and Thank tell you, you that not everyone in Hollywood is lying, Skanko. Oh, I hope and, not. And you are so funny on Craig Kilborn. Thank you. And man. I never call this show, even though I think that the guys are, like, totally funny and, and all that. And I enjoy them. And I'm all about the testosterone. But, um... I just want to say, you know, you're going to be okay. And you were so funny and so cute. And I'm going through it, honey. I'm going well, through Lori it. Well, Lori evidently is in the industry. It, she is well, not. Yeah, I'm an actress. Um, but I was just like, my heart was going out, you know, because I, Does she I sound run into crazy the enough same kind of thing. No, not crazy enough. You know, you're, you're, it's L.A. So Lori, did you, did you hear you so that uh, his uh, honey bunny had uh, stepped out with Cedric the Entertainer, Fred <laughs> Gwynn? Stop! Lies. And Mark DiCarlo. Also, Charles, right. Charles Nelson Riley. I, I see I missed the names, but yeah. I was hearing that there was some some philandering. There was some panky panky. Yeah. She will not give it up. Lori, let me ask you something. Yes. Girls that cheat, do, why will they, they will not, they will not fess up? Well, you know, I think it's girls and guys. Cheaters just don't tell, and they always that's say, true. no, honey, it wasn't that's me. True. Mm. That's true. <laughs> if I had footage, if I had film, she'd go, that's not me. That's not me. <laughs> Doctor, that film She'd up. be R. Kelly and a brother. You know well, how I they Lori, do. Lori, it sounds like she had a little experience on her belt with uh, deception. She did. What she did. Mm -hmm. Lori, thank She'd you be right so for you. much for She'd the love. She'd be right for you, Dang. I don't know if she's crazy enough. Mm -hmm. Carla? Hi. You're 20? Yeah. You have a uh, six-week-old child? Yeah. And uh, your husband won't help you? No. How old is he? He's 22. What do you mean he won't help you? Well, <clears> like, he likes playing with him and, like, feeding him when I give him the bottle, but... Um, like every time I ask him to do something, he he's gives chomping up some cocaine look, so he gets to the night. You know, and then if I question him about what it. What are you doing, stepping on your coke? <laughs> what? Mixing the uh, Hit it coke. with that baby lax, honey. Baby laxative? <laughs> no. Turning a kilo into two? What, what's going on in the background there? Um, I'm patting him, the baby. Trying to get him to burp. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Carla, you know, Carla, here's uh, let me just say this. I'm no pediatrician, but I do know that with the kids, it's a <clears throat> tap. It's not a, it's not a No, it's not a series of small taps. It's one good sock. I mean, one good closed fist right to the solar plexus band. No, no, no. No? That's yeah. Wrong. That's, That's what my dad used to do with me. Yeah, man. Um, Carla, what exactly do you want your husband to do? Do you want him to change the diapers? What do you want him to do? Exactly. I mean, I do everything. I clean the house. And, you know, right. Does he I'm work? I'm sure this is pretty typical, but I'm not working, and he's supporting us, so he right. feels that that's sufficient enough. Yeah. Well, he brings home the bacon, doesn't he, baby? Yeah. He pays the rent, doesn't he, doll? Yeah. He he's pays for the boy. gas, doesn't you know, he, right? You know, there's one he buys the food, doesn't he? There's one thing. He buys your clothes! But the thing is, is that the baby will be crying, and he'll just be sitting there staring no, at you. No, you need to let, let that baby cry. Well, here's the thing about guys. We are clueless. We, we, we can only, the best we can do is follow your lead. We really do not have the same instincts that you do. You have magical insight into what babies need. We sit there with our heads up our butt oh, that is trying a to figure out. it out. No, that we do. Secondly... The, the cop out on his part is that the mothering job is a 24/7 job, and he needs to step in and become a 24/7 parent. Mm. Yes, he's working. Yes, he, you do, yeah. because that, that's the one thing that n needs to happen for the child is for there to be shared responsibility right, and people be right, able to right. be arrested enough that they're available to actually nurture and attune to the child. Right. Have you ever expressed your desire for him to co become more involved with the uh, child rearing, Carla? Yeah. Yeah. I did. But I, how do you do? Do you do it in a calm voice, or do you just hit him right when he gets to the door, like? Yeah, it's stupid. You take the baby. I have to just stop. Uh, I wouldn't smoke you a take cigarette. Him. No, like today when he was just letting him scream, I was like, okay, yeah. why don't you make him a bottle? You know, I'm cleaning the house and right. washing it, all his clothes, and he just just started from there, and we just got into a big blowout. All right. How well, about some family counseling? <laughs> he really some parenting. Classes. What's he do? Is he make? Is he make money? He makes enough to support us. He's in the Navy. Oh, all right. Yeah, he's got to get busy at home. Here's my thing. <clears throat> it's not how, how many hours a day you work. It's how much you make. There you go. That's my policy. Yeah. I got no problem with that. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. I, uh, preach it. Preach Listen, it. Listen, I, I used to work crazy hours. It was much harder to be an effective parent then. Because you were and exhausted. I made less money, yeah. But you were exhausted. Yeah, I, I know, just, but... But you know, what then I met point? then I met Adam. That's what my point. point? Adam is my savior. Oh, but let me let me tell you something about chicks. 
my, my uh, oh, damn, damn headphones. My old lady gives me that, uh, you well, know, here we I, go. I, made the, I made the food, you do the dishes. And then I'm like, hey, see the house? You see the cars? You see the everyone paying the bills, all that? Guess what? That counts. I'm, I'm taking credit for that. It's not how, my how uncle. How long do didn't... you give this marriage, Doctor Drew? Old... Yeah, this is uh, this is stuff he used to he used to say to me. Hey, why do you take that stuff? You got to show who wears. Ba yeah, this is just the beginning. You are a yeah, slippery worse. slope, my friend. No, but here, here's the deal. I, I seriously, I mean it. You know, uh, I know you mean it. it doesn't matter though. No, but if it's it comes, doesn't mean it's talking about the marriage. It's talking about the wedding. You know, Lynette's like she says to me, "Oh, you, I'm doing all the work on the wedding. She is. That's what right. are you doing? I'm like, hey, I'm." I'm shelling out forty grand. That's what I'm doing. That's cheap too. That you're getting off cheap. Forty uh, that's, grand. That's what everyone tells me. But, but here, here's the point. Here's the point. I'm. Don't forget about that forty grand. I'm at work getting that forty grand. Adam, park, that that park is and, not nothing. Harken back to the early days of dating. Would she rather have been at a two hundred dollar meal or have you make the twenty dollar picnic? Which would have meant more to her? Two hundred dollar meal. No. But, but the twenty dollar picnic. Adam, this is this, this will this. I, I, I understand that. The, I, the I understand. time and involvement and all that weighs way get much more benefit. Yeah. Much more. Well, why is she going to get a, a photographer that's five grand? That there you go, Adam. Because that's Don't because when it. you tell them that's all you're going to get, then they're going to they're going to show. Okay, I'll show you. Then we're then that's that's I'm going to have to get gratified that way. Well, but game on, game on now. Here's all I'm saying, and I, I've noticed this in my own life. I've noticed it with a lot of my friends and their uh, ex-wives. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Say it again, brother, and mean it. All I'm saying is is women act like guys are going out and having a big 10, 12-hour party well, and then coming home, and then it's like, you're home. Hey, I've been working. You need to get to work. And it's like, hey, baby, these guys are giving you a life that you would never have. But, there, but there's a reality component to this, which is we get satisfaction from doing this work that they don't get to have an outlet for. Well, tell them to, to get a kids. life. No. no, because their kids, they're sacrificing that on behalf of raising children. But oh, that's listen, their choice. Ra raising kids is raising kids. I'm talking about you do the dishes. Mm. See, my, my feeling is, is I built the house. You got about 3,000 hours worth of dishes to do before we even come close to what I put into this house. I'm going to have a little talk with Lynette. Yeah, you better be right there. Lynette, Dave, if you're listening, let's Ron! Her. Let's get her, yeah. David Allen Greer in studio tonight. I'm getting better, gentlemen. <laughs> the sun will rise! We'll be back. Hey, hey. Yeah, there we go. Love line. I'm Adam. That's uh, Dr. Drew. I'm Adam Carolla. David Allen Greer, our guest tonight. What's up? Life with Bonnie is the name of his new show, ABC, 9 o'clock, Tuesday nights. He's got everything to live for, but yet. You know, Adam, I want to make a public uh, public announcement here. Mm -hmm. I haven't been all nice in this whole breakup. My ex-girlfriend had a cat. Mm. Uh-oh. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not. The cat, uh, well, she thinks the cat ran away. It never returned. Now, mm -hmm. um, I didn't mean to have this happen. Right. I, uh... This is really hard for me. I was going to hold the cat for her mm -hmm. until she uh, came back to me, and uh, I just started squeezing this little thing, mm -hmm. the cutest little thing in the world. His name was Norman. And, uh, Norman? I, he, I had a cat named Norman. Broke, I broke the kitty he broke cat. the kitty? I buried him under the uh, Floor fruit board. tree in the backyard. <laughs> so I have to live with that pain. He broke the Sorry kitty. I killed your cat, you lying, cheating whore! <laughs> <laughs> David uh, is just getting over a tough relationship. I'm better. I'm better now. Liar, 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 whore, liar, liar, whore. liar, liar. Thankfully, she's a whole, whole, she's a 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 whole, she's pertinent for tonight. I do. I said, I put it in the butt. I, I put see. it in the butt. I put it, I put it, I put it in the butt. I hate you! <laughs> Mike? Hello? Mike, you're 21. It's giddy yeah, around hey, here. What, what's going on? I, 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 just cheer like, up. I just like to say, Adam, you're the coolest. I watch you all the time. Thank Drew, you. Drew, you're a smart guy, man. And David, you're what's the up, best, baby? man. I used to love your stuff on uh, In Living Color. You Thank you, best. Mike. Fountain Valley. Hey. 
Yeah, exactly. Uh, I had a question. I want to know, um, I'm 21 years old, and yeah. I want to know, is it dirty or wrong that I like to have sex with prostitutes? No, it's not. It's called, what I call speed dating. Yeah, That's exactly. All it is. I mean, I'm attracted to girls and all, you know, I find them, you know, right, you know right. the same way like any other guy would, but, I mean, I just don't like the whole dating thing. It just, like, it now, bugs me. Where you know? do you, uh, where do you find your prostitutes? Um, I go to Mexico sometimes, oh, yeah. or you know, down around here you find them. And how how much do they they run you? Uh, well, in Mexico they're dirt cheap, dude, twenty bucks. Like, do you do do you do you have sex with them in a car, or do you take them out? Do you, you no, bring well, them to the crib? In, in what do you Me do? No, in a hotel. Oh, I get you. I got you. I got you. Right. Yeah. Do you, have you, do you have, like, a couple of hookers that you go to? You mean go back no, to? I, yeah. I, I get a new one every time. I, I keep it variety. I get a different one every time. And what, what do you get from me? You have sex? You get a BJ? No, I have sex. True, please. Sorry. Sex. Sex, sex. okay. Sex. That's beautiful. Yeah. And is it good? Do you enjoy it? Yeah, I mean, it's great. You know, I mean, I can go as long as I want. Not that that's a problem or anything, and it's just... Yeah, it's hassle don't, free. You don't know what they I'm get saying? a little angry when you go too that's long? That's true. That's true. <laughs> no, not really. It's it's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoy it like just like regular sex. Do you see I've that? I've had regular sex like with you know. Right. And I I, I just prefer you know the prostitute. Okay. Just, All right. Doctor Drew, what is wrong with this? I just want to know is it is it dirty or bad? You know should, should no. it be like well, no, no, but it it, no? it does it does arrest your emotional development it does. to some it degree. How does, does it does. arrest your emotional? Because development? we really develop as human beings by virtue of our interpersonal connections. When you mean like when you put your heart on the line, mm -hmm. and when some lying stinking whore breaks it. Mm, yeah. That's what oh, I mean. God, I but there's a couple of things. David, David laid his heart out at this woman's feet, and she took a croquet mallet. And he chopped it up it into cocaine lines, and just like with it. my credit card, and started it. Oh. Well, with the Queen of Hearts, I guess. But listen, th there's a couple yeah. of concerns I have with this. Aside yeah. from the fact that yes, it does sort of delay your emotional, or just ab abort emotional development, and you are that guy. You're the guy who's not able to carry out a relationship in a mm -hmm. genuine way. You're going mm -hmm. to prostitutes. But don't you, think, two, don't you think David needs a prostitute right, about now? I need to right, bang him. many ideas. He might get fall in love with him. That's the problem, <laughs> see? <laughs> you see? Yeah. Go get yourself a hooker. And secondly, disease. <laughs> Obviously, a sexually transmitted that. disease is a very serious concern. Yes, yes, sure. And then finally, you can get a little... Well, some guys are prone to sexual compulsivity and addiction, and this can be a path that they head down that can really deter them from more um, fulfilling ways of dealing with their Let me with ask you a serious lives. question. The behavior of my ex, as I've described it, doesn't that show some sexual compulsion? Yes. yes. I, gave you, I gave you the definition. Borderline Answer the personality. question, right. It's, um, yeah, there is some sexual compulsivity as part of that. Absolutely. Self-destructive tendencies. It's, again, this, this intense desire to connect with the cut-off bad part of themselves mm -hmm. they get through acting out sexually with bad guys. Why not just wallow in cocky? That wouldn't work? That wouldn't work. I, I suggested it. That's, what, they, that's what she projects onto you and you get to oh, do. She did kind of waller in cocky if you remove the E from the yeah. end of that. Yeah, I hear you. Davey? Yeah. No, yeah. this Davey. No, what, what do you want? What You're you 27. Want? Yeah. Yeah. What's up? How you doing? There? How's it going, boy? We're uh, fine. David's in a bad way. I feel the same. What's up? Well, my question for you is, um, it's in regard to threesomes. Mm-hmm. Okay, I've had my girlfriend for four years now. And, uh, you know, I love her more than anything else. Mm -hmm. But occasionally, we have, a, well, we've had this ongoing debate when it comes to threesomes. In her mind, the other party should be someone that we're somewhat, I don't know, emotionally involved with. Whereas that's maybe, the only way she'll enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. Is, yeah, but that's a, that's a recipe for disaster, Absolutely. of course. Yeah, I, well, I mean, we, we've done it, and, it, and it's been Dude, powerful. I just boned two chicks! <laughs> and uh, you uh, you did a threesome with her and her friend? Um, well, well, I mean, we've had actually a couple of them. But what do you mean you're emotionally involved with this other person? How, well, what was I the mean, nature of that? Well, the friendship, you know. So, as Adam said, it was she and her friend? Yeah. Okay. And then don't, don't it has been my friend who, like, recently had a divorce and he was staying with her. All right, but the answer to Anna's question whoa, is whoa, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two guys? Yeah, it happened. Now, did, did oh, he had uh, sex with your girlfriend? Well, no, well, I mean, we have ground rules, you know, I mean, no intercourse. Yeah. She, she has the fantasy about, you know, the two penises in her face and all that stuff. I see. You know, so, I mean, it's just more of a fantasy thing for her, but. Right. When it sure. comes to another girl in the bed, which we've done. 
it's always led to issues later because m- my preference would be a girl who there is no emotional tie to. Right. Yeah. But do you have sexual intercourse with both of women? Um, no, well, not penetrate a vaginal or anal no, with no, the other one. Well, you get, get a little oral sex? Yeah, oral, and, you know, or I'll give her oral, or, uh-huh. or they'll give each other oral. And what about uh, when you're with your buddy and it's time to finish? How does that work? Any ground uh, rules there? Well, I mean, you know, by that point, well, she can, you know, but, you know, take it on the chest area. I see. Oh. You know, Here, here's what I'm worried about. <clears throat> you and yeah. your you and your partner are getting all overheated, and, you know, you're, you're, you're jockeying for position, and all of a sudden you feel that scabby, corn-encrusted, hangnail toe of your best friend scraping the instep of your foot. No, no. Dude, dude, dude back up off Now, me. here's the real back problem, me, because man. I've seen this in many a porn movie when they do the two-on-one thing with the oh, guys. Yeah. Is oh, yeah. Here's the problem with uh, semen when it comes out of the penis. Yeah. It is in no particular order. Right. Do you know what I mean? It's like the first three is like... <laughs> and then the third, third, third one flies six feet up in the air and hits the other dude in the face. It's like the first three shot directly down onto the chick, and then the fourth load blasted the guy right in the cornea. Uh, now, how does that work? And that's my biggest fear with this whole process. God's mystery, son. <laughs> you always see that. <laughs> drop a semen, a mind of its own. Oh, Drew, you know what I'm talking about? It's like the, the first two or three look like, all right, that's the way he was pointing. No problem there. And then the fourth is this rogue load that just goes sailing in a different direction and always seems to find the sack of the other guy. Now, just, Adam, you say you've seen this on films. Mm-hmm. You get this, Dr. Drew? Yes. You sure yes. You, you and your friend David, Jimmy weren't tag teaming? He watches <laughs> yeah. so many films. There's no time for anything else. <laughs> I'm wondering what, what happened to my life that I'm sitting here thinking about give rogue some, semen. Uh, give me some But you know I'm right. Right, right? You're always yeah, right. Absolutely. Right. And once again, Adam rules. Let's take a little break here. Davey, uh... I'm almost healed, gentlemen. Don't Thank have any so kids. Don't Thank have you. any kids. With Why? This how dare... Oh, yeah, with this chick, I'm glad I never had kids. With and, and, and Drew and uh, David, as far as having a threesome, your, your best chance for getting through the whole thing unscathed emotionally is to have some Taiwanese chick who doesn't speak a lick go. of English that you, you just go. picked up at a bus stop, right? I'll tell you right now, when I have a for, threesome... From a man's standpoint, from a woman's standpoint, if she sees you screwing around with that person, she's going to go, you're disgusting, I no, hate you. No, no, or screwing around with one of her good friends right. from work. My ex no. wanted to have a threesome. Uh-oh. Really? Yeah. See, now yeah. you're kicking yourself. As far as I'm going. Now you're kicking yourself. Well, um, with, with well, one of the guys well. she actually did sleep with? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got me. Dag. You got punch me, Dr. Drew. This popcorn is delicious. Cedric and his old lady. Charles Nelson Riley. We're going to take a little break. We'll be right Charles, back. It's the devil. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam Carolla. That is Dr. Drew. Davey G holding it down. EQ at Love of Mac Baller. Doing my shout out to my boys. You That's know. right. What up, Manny Hattie Beach? I'm surfing. I'm surfing, Dr. Drew. I've been surfing, you know, to try to get over this heartache and whatnot. Yeah, surfing you know. the web. No, surfing, surfing oh, water, mister. I see. Really? Oh, it's beautiful. You really been surfing? Yeah, man. I got a life, man. Get out there. Let's heal some babies. Life with Bonnie is the name of the new show, ABC, Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock. Do you Anna? notice a change? Do you yeah, you're change? better. I'm better, I'm better. You're much better. Davy G's back. I, it's all about bloodletting, man. You know, that's what this show is about. You know, mm-hmm. I need healing, too, you know. Mm-hmm. I come in the door, I got knowledge, you know, but mm-hmm. uh, a lot of times, you know, I'm a, I'm a broken teacup, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Can I get a hug? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thanks, man, Dr. Drew. Ooh, you grabbing my ass. Now, hey, hey! All right, let's heal some babies. Here. Anna? Hello. <clears throat> Hi, Anna. 23, what's up? Um, I was just calling out a question for Dr. Drew. Um, uh-uh. I've, me and my boyfriend have been together for about seven years, and we live together and everything. And um, re- You're fat. Huh? Keep, keep going, keep going. Mm-hmm. And um, recently, well, we've been through a lot, and in the beginning, we, would, we used to lie to each other and stuff, and now we don't, but... He's saying that he not, he knows he can never trust me, so he right. thinks that we should just end well, it. Well, why does he know he can never trust you? Because right. he just he says he can't. He's tried that I, I when I go out and stuff. He he doesn't ever. Right. Do anything, Have you lied to him? In the when we first. Well, they lied, but but you never cheated on him. No, well. Oh. Mm-hmm. In the beginning, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. he used to cheat on me a lot. It was, we were I was in high school. He was in college. He's older than me. Okay, right. let, let me ask you guys this. You know that uh, 
too much sewage under the bridge sort of adage. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. stuff it, stuff gets off on the wrong foot. Right. You talk a little too much. Someone cheats. Someone gets caught. What have you? And then they make these proclamations like, I can never trust you. Right. Then just break up with the guy. Exactly. They're right. They can never trust you. Go find someone else. Good. The, re the reason he can never trust you is because he knows he can't trust himself. Oh, no, I would he's the cheater here. And he's oh, really? You, yeah. Maybe he's been cheated on. Maybe his ex banged half of Hollywood. But he, mm -hmm. you, you said he cheated a number of times, right? Yeah, and but I'm just he's the cheater. go to counseling if that's uh, I don't, You've no. been with this guy since you're no. 16. Do you have kids with him? No. Uh, dump him. Forget it. Dump him like old dirty drawers, honey. I don't want to dump him, though. You've been with the guy since you're 16, she's right? She's not listening. Yeah. That's it's, enough. Yeah, it's time for you to have some other relationships. It really is. So you don't think if we go to counseling it would help? Well, if, he, if he's dying to go to counseling, you can get him to go and you two can go together. See, you I might be able to learn something, I, but I'm I don't know. I'm generally in favor of boyfriend-girlfriend relationships going to counseling. If they're not Because if they're not working, part, part of... The whole dating relationship process in youth is to sort of figure out who you are and what you want. If it's not working, it ain't working. But you what if they've been along. together for seven years, they're thinking about getting married, and they want to know is always where, good. where counseling to take is the next always step. Counseling for the individual is good, and so well, they can really get a sense of what yeah, they want. Yeah, but you know what? This counseling may lead to individual counseling, and she'll realize this guy's a jerk. You know why counseling know. works in relationships? It's for guys, it becomes like drug testing. Which is, right. you know you're going on Friday, and now right. Wednesdays come around, and the old lady's like, hey, uh, could you stop watching the porn and start, and your normal reaction would be to throw the porn at her, but you think, no, wait a minute, that's the first thing that's coming out on Wednesday. Drew, think about counseling just for the sake of keeping the guy in wow. line yeah. during the week. First off, if you're doing couples counseling, you should always do it on a Friday. Yeah. And the guy will be in line during the week because women, especially if you get a female counselor, it's all coming out in the first 10 minutes. Mm. All the crap you did, all the defiance, all... You know, my counselor what? has a thing written down. She goes, let's try and get to the really big issue when you first hit the rum. Because it's hard to resolve those really big issues if you hit it at minute 48. <laughs> and then, and then, and then my dad put his ring finger in my dumper. That's... <laughs> Session time. <laughs> I'll see you next. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Miriam? Miriam? Yeah. You're 25? Yeah. What's up? Hi. Um, I have a friend. Um, actually, it's an ex-boyfriend. Um, and he's been using, using uh, Speed for about a year now. Mm -hmm. And I've talked to him about it several times. And um, he's well, kind of implied that he wanted to get help. But knowing how he was even before the drugs, he's kind of... Uh, if they make it difficult for you, he won't do it, you know, type of person. You mean if it's difficult to get into the hospital? To get the information, even, because I've called around different places, and all they say, well, they say to go to the um, the meetings, you know, but I don't think I could get him to go to that. I think he's going to want more solid information. So my dad's been working on it for me. He's a physician, and he's gotten <laughs> a lot more information on how he can get government aid and whatnot and get into a program. The only problem is I don't know how to do the intervention. <laughs> I don't know how to approach are, him. Are you into this guy at all? No. He's a really good friend. I care for him deeply. That's good. I'm like one of the only friends he's got. Yeah, why? why what's yeah. wrong What's wrong with it? She's trying to help the guy. What, no, Dr. Why, why is she well, so he, invested? Okay, he's, he grew up and he didn't really have many friends. He moved around a lot and he's always been really, really, really shy. And about five years ago, we worked together and we became friends and we started dating and we broke up, but we're still friends. Mm -hmm. And me and this other girl have been watching him go downhill for a long time, like and has, jobs and not so he, jobs. so he has no insurance and he no. Has no, re no money. He has nothing. So he wants to get a county-funded bed. Um, my father told me that right. he could go to get on welfare, I suppose it is. Yeah, but and that will not cover treatment. He needs a county-funded bed. Call Cry Help in North Hollywood. Okay. okay. That's where you go. You call them. There you go. And he needs, and he needs. Forget the intervention piece because that costs about five thousand dollars to do an intervention. Oh well, I meant Why? you know what I meant by intervention was how do I approach him to you bring just, all this up and give him just, the information? You flat out do it. You got a bed for you. Let's go. That's okay. it. You do not pussyfoot around. You just you don't worry about sparing his feelings. You just yeah. If you're trying to save this guy's life. You, so and I, if he won't do it, he won't do it. You got to let it go. All right, call that cry help in my uh, hometown. You are North Dr. Hollywood. Drew. Let it go, Pinsky. Quick impression, Adam. Dr. Drew in a public place. Honey, the movie started. Let it go. <laughs> Honey, I, I, I already achieved orgasm. Let it go. Mark.
Yeah, just a few questions, a few observations. Uh-huh. Uh, first, Adam, what's the Las Vegas over under on the number of Wayan brothers that did Dave's girlfriend? <laughs> uh, it's, 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 How oh, cool can you be? The line just moved to four and a half. <laughs> I've never heard anyone go through so many Xs as. Oh my God! I got that three-hour Japanese bukkake porno. A two, Marky. I just want and to know which of the Olsen twins got Dave. <laughs> oh, Mark. Like, Mark. Mark, this is not a time for your brace of gross style of humor. I have a drum. It's kind of warm. You're my feeling. Dave Mark. must be the CV wonder of players after a four-year relationship. <laughs> he couldn't see the third bag skank was being drilled more than the Arctic uh-oh, tundra. Uh-oh, he's, oh. he's, 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 he's hitting pay dirt here. Keep preaching, Mark. <laughs> Keep preaching. Oh, oh you Dave, ran out of you material, didn't you? During the last four years when yes. you were going south on the girlfriend, you were giving an oral to half of Hollywood. Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I don't even live in Hollywood. Oh. I banged her. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Mark, you had sex with Dave Sex? Uh, yes, I have. Oh, I, I thought I saw your name on that list. Yeah, well, I it, it can't. Was the bottom, but I still did her. Oh, All right. The point is, is you got in before the store closed. Oh, okay, two questions Marky. for Adam. Adam, how will marriage cut into your masturbation time? Good uh, question. Not I, at all, I imagine. I've, uh, I've dedicated uh, six pages to this in my prenup, so okay. I'm, I'm fine. Actually, four of the pages I'm using to cover my belly, but the other two actually have text on them. Two, I'll two be last fine. questions. Yeah. Will Sotheby's be auctioning off your, expens- your extensive porno collection? No. No. My, uh, uh, Mark, uh, when are you going to be doing the next open mic? <laughs> no. Okay? Work on those jokes. Yeah. I had you, some good ones here, though. It was still funnier than yeah, Tommy yeah. Davidson at the roast. Ooh, Al, you are just slinging. No, I love no, he's, he's a He's a good, Listen, funny little man. Sammy Davidson is wonderful. I'm sorry, Sammy. Tommy, Tommy, <laughs> right. Tommy, Tommy. Yes, right. Tommy Davidson. Here we go. Right. go Let's break. heal some right. babies. We got six minutes. Go. Next we, caller. All right. We're going to continue on for another hour. I don't think David is... Uh, I am healed. healed. I want to thank America. I want to thank you, Dr. Drew. Most of all, I want to thank Adam Carolla, all my friends, my co-workers. I am healing. Yeah. I will love again. We need to do another one hour after, after Love Line will air on oxygen. Can't right. you take this love, Dr. Drew? Just thank you break. so much. Remember, everybody, my wife and kids... Oh, how NBC, dare you. It's my, my blight with Bonnie. Yeah, my life with Bonnie. My life with Bonnie. Tuesday nights, 9 o'clock, Absolutely. ABC, David Allen Greer. And, Thank uh, you. David, please. Don't, Thank you so much. Don't be scared to reach out to the ones who are really close to you, okay, the ones who really care. Thanks All right, man? Thank you. Dr. Drew, I got your home number. Mm. I'll, I'll be you. waiting for you. Stay so, by the phone. until next time, this is Adam Carolla for Dr. Drew. And Dave E.G. Saying mahalo. Uh, did Miss Mama Pinsky put her little pinky in Dr. Drew's little dump? <laughs> this has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Ann Wilkins Engel. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.